Welcome, Dayton. The Little Green Dress presents Traditions and Legacies, where we discuss family traditions and discover your legacy. Now listen with me as we remember what used to be. She is your host and author, and by she, I mean me, Kim Gresham. Hi, and welcome to The Little Green Dress Presents Traditions and Legacies. I am your host, Kim Gresham. Today, I got a powerhouse in the house. She came to visit. We don't know each other, but I want to know Miss Tiffany Countryman. Come on out, girl. Hey, hey love. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. Sure. Let's have a seat. Yes. All right. So okay. We this don't nice. know each other. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know each other. So tell me a little bit about you. Oh, well, my name is Tiffany Countryman. Mm -hmm. I am a Daytonian, born and raised. I was born at Mommy Valley Hospital. Me too. The old one, before they had this new little birthing center and I such. Know. I was inside the hospital, <laughs> the regular hospital. Exactly. Um, graduated from Meadowdale High School. Girl, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm a lion. I am so okay. Okay. Yes, we got that going that. on. We yes. got that natural vibe, yeah, that natural Leo. connection. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm a Libra. Okay, so I mean, I got to see what that means, okay. but I'm open to it. <laughs> I'm open to it. Um, and uh, went to Sinclair, and also mm -hmm. went to Wright State. So okay. this is, you know, I'm Dayton, Dayton Ohio, all through and through. Through, and through. Uh -huh. um, I am the CEO and owner of Ministry Is Me Ministries. We okay. are a faith-based event planning and project management company which basically means that we will take your idea from uh, conception to manifestation. Okay. So if you want to do a podcast, if you want to do it, host an event, a women's event, empowerment mm -hmm. event, a Bible study, a virtual event, uh, we've produced two stage plays, gospel stage plays. Mm -hmm. So whatever your event or your project is, we'll help you put it together. We'll organize it and we will help you produce it. Wow. So that's what we've been doing. We've been operating for about 10 years. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. We've been in the community. We also serve the community. We focus on community empowerment. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a t-shirt line. Okay. <laughs> it's called All Black Lives Matters. All Black Lives And of course it was developed during 2020 mm -hmm. during all the things that we went through. But uh, basically it's a line that says, if you can't acknowledge me for the color of my skin, will acknowledge me for my position. Okay. So it says black mothers matter. Maybe we can relate if we're both mothers. Um, black educators matter. Oh, black okay. creatives matter. Mm -hmm. So it's not just that I'm black, but I am an actual person, mm -hmm. something that anyone that can relate to. Right, and I'm more than just my skin I'm color. I'm more than just my skin color. Okay. I'm a whole situation, okay? okay. I know, that's right. <laughs> so tell me how, um, how the third perk... Um, the um, spoken word came about. Yeah, so I'm real cool with Miss Juanita Darden. She's mm -hmm. the owner of Third Perk, and she had a podcast coming out called the Broken Entrepreneur Podcast, mm -hmm. and she hit the homie up, and she wanted to <laughs> um, ask me to host the uh, podcast um, launch party. So okay. it was a huge launch party that she did. So I hosted the party, and we were talking about different things that she wanted to do to uh, connect with the community and let people know that Third Perk is still here, mm -hmm. that we're still going strong. And she mentioned an open mic night. I said, sure. We started it. I hit up one of my good friends, Stephen Crane, who mm -hmm. is known throughout the city for singing and producing and acting and all type of things. Okay. And he said that he will partner with me, and we've been jumping ever since. And so y'all, when do you do it? Every first Friday. Every first Friday. Every first Friday. Friday uh, uh, doors open at 7 and the mic opens at 9 p.m. We have our DJ, DJ Already. Shout out to I, DJ I Already. know him. He's at one of my parties for Yeah, me. he's the truth. He's okay, the truth. So yes. he keeps the vibe for us. Mm -hmm. um, we had a live band last month, but usually we rock with DJ Already. Okay, so do you do spoken word yourself too? Yeah, I oh. do a little bit of spoken word. I do what's called prophetic spoken word. So uh -huh. I will let the audience give me a couple of words and then I will story tell around those words. But I'm also a playwright as well. I, I'm a storyteller. I write and produce stories. So right. that's just what I do. So, so I can give you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I know. <laughs> so like at the end of the show, like I can give you like a couple of words and then you gon you can you can just you can just spit it like that. Yeah. That's what you're telling me right yeah. now. Okay. It might not all rhyme, but it'll it be don't a have good to story. Rhyme, but it'll be a good story. It'll be a great story. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we go. Okay. Okay. You got so a little first, saucy, saucy. Yeah. Yeah. I want to hear this at the end. Okay. So tell me about some traditions in your family. 
Oh, some traditions in our family. I mean, we could start with the beginning, New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. Black eyed peas, the greens. Of course. A man has to walk Up through the door first with yes. money in his pocket. Come on with the money. Uh, all that good things. And then you think about childhood stuff. Step mm -hmm. on a crack, you bake your mama's back. <laughs> I still don't step on a crack. Are you serious? Day. Yeah, it's just a thing. Like, you know, it's just like, I don't want to chance it. Know, like, my mom's right. back is all right, you know? <laughs> so I don't want to chance it. Um, a uh, debutante ball is a mm -hmm. tradition in our family. Okay. My mom was a debutante. My sister was a debutante. I was a debutante. They want my daughter to be a debutante. Mm -hmm. I say they because I'm not into all the foo foo fa fa stuff. Okay. I'm a tomboy, so okay. I was forced to, to be a debutante. Uh -huh. But it's a tradition in our family. Okay. Um, stuff like that. I mean, my just, goddaughter was a um, was a uh, debutante. For as real? Well. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a cool thing do to do. Do you know my best friend, Jarell? Sherelle, um, Cause Sherelle knows, with the locks? No. Oh. Sherelle is with YLAG. She's over YLAG, the company. Cause, I um, think I do know her. Miss Darden, Juanita, helps her okay. on, that, on that. So that's when that I heard her name. Cool I mean, we know everybody. Yeah. It's only like a couple of people that you don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, tell me what else you got going on. Um, So I work for the Human Race Theater Company, mm -hmm. which is downtown. We're the only professional theater company in the, in the city. Mm -hmm. And we produce uh, world-renowned plays as well as new stage or plays mm -hmm. um, and I'm the engagement and learning coordinator there so basically I connect the community with the theater so okay. I let people know what's going on okay okay so you you doing you saying a lot of things <laughs> that I like right now <laughs> and that I have just like really been thinking so you trying to tell me uh -huh. you telling me right now yes that if I wanted to be in a play mm -hmm. and I say Tiffany mm -hmm. I want to be in a play mm -hmm. and you'll be like I'm gonna find you a part. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you serious right now? Yeah, I mean, you will have to audition because okay. we have our artistic director, our creative director, mm -hmm. and of course, whoever the director of that show is. Mm -hmm. So they run the auditions. Okay. But we have so many different shows next season with so many different parts. We have mm -hmm. musicals, we have comedies, we have wow. dramas, we have black shows, mm -hmm. we have white shows, we have women focused shows, we have all different types of situations wow. going on that I if you sit in an audition tape or come to callbacks, you'll probably get a part. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you another question. Uh huh. So now I've written five. I've written this is a children's book series. That's I've what's written up. Five books. That's okay. what's up. And that's what I'm working on right now. But before before the children's book, mm -hmm. I did write an you know adult. Oh, you got some satire. I got I got a, I got a little something. I like I that. Something. I like that. So now if I wanted to like change that into some kind of movie or some kind of play. Mm -hmm. We could do that. Yeah, I'm a playwright. So I've actually, one of my clients, I've transformed their life story. Well, actually two clients. So one client, it was their core life story, you know, childhood trauma mm -hmm. and young adulthood. And then another client was their dance life story. So she's a director of a, a dance uh, company here in the city. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to tell her story of when she was younger into dance and DC, DC and how she became who she was. Okay. So I took those stories and made those shows for clients. So I I definitely do that for you. Oh, my. I, I'm like, now, I'm on cloud nine right now. Like, <laughs> my mind is racing because I have always wanted to be in the, on a play uh -huh. or on stage doing something because I just feel like I could kind of do that. Yeah. And then my book, uh -huh. you know, it didn't really get or do what I wanted it to do, but okay. I know yeah. that it's a good, really good story. It's a story. And if it could come to life, mm -hmm. if I could see my book, the first book, my adult book come mm -hmm. to life, that would be I mean, that's be a good a dream come true for me. We for should real. talk. We should that's what I do. We gonna talk. We gonna talk. Okay, so now let me ask you this. Let me ask you the legacy question. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. You have no idea. My whole inside is like, oh. Ah. You know, like pinball machines. Yes. Like that's, that's I'm just ju jumping on the inside. Yeah. Okay, so if the legacy question, if mm -hmm. you was to leave this earth today, because mm -hmm. I started this in 2020 during the pandemic, yeah. and, you know, we was losing people. So mm. if you was to leave this earth today, what legacy would you leave? I would like to leave the legacy to my daughter. I only have one child, I have a daughter. Okay. And I would like to leave her the legacy of tenacity and audacity. Okay, tell me because about that. Because as an African American woman in the United States, in the Midwest, Ohio, mm -hmm. in Dayton, Ohio, it's very difficult to be great. 
Um, it's difficult to be strong. It's difficult to be taken serious. Mm -hmm. um, it's difficult to be respected. Um, simply because we got the magic sauce. Mm, you know got this, that. I know this, and I want my daughter to know this. Mm -hmm. And I don't want her to go through what I went through of being pushed down, having people's foot on my neck, dealing with men who didn't have their own self-esteem mm -hmm. and their own self-confidence uh, coming for me. Um, and that it took away my self-esteem. Mm -hmm. It took away my oomph, mm -hmm. my, my, my sauce. Mm -hmm. And I want my daughter to keep the same tenacity and audacity that she has. I don't know, that's She's right. proud of herself. She's proud of her body she speaks up for herself she tells me when I'm wrong mm -hmm. and I want her to be tenacious and audacious I know that's right so tell me how did you come out of like when you was feeling down when you was going through that how, how Girl, did I had a real mental breakdown like I'm talking about in the mental facility for three days okay. uh, by myself trying to figure out what's going on diagnosis medication uh, continual therapy mm -hmm. um, and what I come to find out is that I wanted to please people mm -hmm. Mm. I wanted to be great. I wanted to use my gifts, but I wanted to use them to please people instead of for pleasing God mm -hmm. or for just fulfilling purpose. Mm -hmm. I wanted people, uh, my family, my mom, my 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 teachers, mm -hmm. my and this is not pressure that people put on me. It was pressure that I put, put on, on myself. Itself. So that was the main thing that I need to get through is that I'm not a disappointment to anyone. Mm -hmm. God made me who I am. God gave me the struggles and the tribulations and the tests that I have to endure for my testimony. Yes. And I can't be ashamed of that or I can't hide parts of myself because it may disappoint people who are in my life. Mm -hmm. um, so that made me keep a lot of things inward. It made me um, suffer with imposter syndrome, PTSD, anxiety. Mm -hmm. And finally, I was just like, F it. Like, just this it is who I'm Tiff Countryman. You're going to take me or leave me. Mm -hmm. And you're going to leave me anyway. So you might as well leave me while I have my confidence and you don't take anything else from me. I know that's right. So don't it let was nobody a, take yeah, anything from you. It was a journey. It was a journey, but I'm, I'm better for it. I'm better I, for I'm it. I'm glad because when I looked on your page and when I went through your pictures, all wow. I see is you smiling, <laughs> you being happy, you making other people smile, you know, you bringing joy to someone else's life. So your story and yourself and your life wow. is really uh, affecting other people. You didn't even know I was looking at you I like did. that. I right? did. And I didn't, I didn't even know ah. you until somebody else told me. And I'm looking at her like, oh my gosh, she wow. is really doing a lot of good things. Praise God. And that's Praise why God. I wanted you here. And that's why Thank I wanted you. to meet you. And this is not going to be the last time we talk because okay. you know I'm going to be in your DMs because I Come I want on, to girl. Be on the stage. You <laughs> okay. Me? I'm serious. We'll make it shake. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a treat. I didn't even know she could do this, but I'm going to give her three words. These, these three words, like Stevie Wonder, and she is going to, off the dome, throw me some lyrics, some bars. They say the young kids say the bars, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, All right, bars. so I'm going to give you some the love. Love, tradition, tradition, and legacy, and legacy. Let's go. Love, tradition, and legacy. All right, I'm a storyteller, y'all, so go easy on the homie. Love, tradition, and legacy. One thing that I have to say is that I can never forget what the house would smell like when I would wake up on a Saturday morning and my granny was in the kitchen stirring those grits, putting butter and sugar in it. Don't judge me. Making sure that the eggs was fluffed just right with the milk and the cheese, a little bit of salt and pepper. And don't forget that bacon sizzling. It's like I will wake up in paradise every Saturday morning. The aroma that will fill the house would make me feel like I was floating on a cloud of love. A cloud of love that will take me from room to room, greeting my mother, kissing my father on the cheek, punching my little brother in the chest right before I took my seat because I understood that it was love that made this family so sleek, so sleek that we was able to sit and eat and reminisce on the week and understand that we were building a legacy. A legacy that will outlast what love thought it could because even though love conquers the grave, it's a legacy that makes us so brave, that gives us something that we can look forward to, something that we can lean into, something that we can hope for, something that we can adore. It's something about legacy.
that makes the tradition even richer, the traditions that goes on from year to year to year, some that makes us sick, some that makes us rich, but it's something about tradition that keeps us close. We can say that it was grandmother that would wear her coat, but it was grandfather that would keep her close. So even if the rain under the umbrella didn't seem to fall down, it was love, tradition, and legacy that kept us all around because family is what gets us closer. It's something about when that door closes that you remember the memories, the graves that lay in front of us that have our nameplates on it of our family members, the love, legacy, and tradition that we will always remember because this is what it's like to be black in America. God bless you. <laughs> did, did, did y'all hear that? Oh my God, this has been the Little Green Dress Presents. Come on back out here, girl, and take another. Come on now here. This is, was that wonderful or not? Let's, I, I don't even have words. <laughs> I am speechless. This has been the Little Green Dress Presents Traditions and Legacies with Miss Tiffany Countryman. God bless you. Thank you. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs>
So oh. it's about a little girl in the 90s who is so like she's going into kind of like that middle school age and everyone has a perm. Remember everyone used to get a relaxer in the uh, 90s. I, uh -huh. So her mom doesn't let her get a relaxer so she takes her lunch money and she buys a relaxer at the drugstore and when her mom and brother is not at home she puts a relaxer in her hair yeah, not her knowing out. that. And she burned her out. Oh yeah, yeah, she burned her hair, but she learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> and oh, her, that sounds great. Oh yes. my god, that sounds so great. That sounds so great and funny. It is um, I have like a, a audio version of it where I actually read it. It's very animated, so I can't wait to put it to a visual as well. Okay, so mm -hmm. have you done that same thing with um, Hey Black Girl? Yes, yes. So Hey Black Girl um, is actually available on YouTube, so I'm reciting it, but a lot of the illustrations of the book are also animated inside of that reciting as well. So okay. you see me, and then you also see the animations in the book in real time. Really? Mm -hmm. On the, in the YouTube? Yep. Okay, I have to make sure I go and see that. I want to see that. <laughs> um, I just remember you performing it at Bell Haven, and I was just so blown away, and I just knew I, that I had to have you on here and do it again. And um, my grandbaby is not in here at the time, and she definitely needs to be in here because I want, to, want her to see it. I think she's outside, and she can definitely see it. But um, let me ask you the legacy question before we get into your performance, because you are my first performance on oh, the show. Oh, okay. Yes, you <laughs> are. You're my first performer, and I'm just so glad to, um, to have you because it's such a poignant um, message, and I think all young girls should be able to, you know, they will be able to take something great from you from your um from your book and from your spoken word i just i just fell in love with it when i saw it like i just <laughs> thought it was the best thing ever so let me ask you the legacy question because when i started doing this um doing the interviews in 2020 you know we were going through the pandemic mm -hmm. and we were losing a lot of people you know and so i wanted to know if you were to leave this earth today what legacy would you leave I think the legacy that I would leave this world is to help people lean into their authenticity and for people to recognize that they are enough and their good is good enough. Um, that's the message. I think that I embody that in any area of my life, whether that's in my work, whether it's as an author or podcaster. My goal is to always make sure that people have the confidence to be who they are. Mm. Because I believe when you are truly who you are, it's truly a gift to the world. Yes. Your authenticity is a filter, so it will always attract the people who are for you. And it's always just important for us to be in alignment with what's for us. So mm. that's the legacy I'm hoping to leave. It's just to make sure that people know themselves, trust themselves, be confident, and to go for it. And, and I just hope that my life it. is a testament to that. Yes, it is. Yes, it <laughs> is because you are definitely doing that. You're definitely putting, going forward because I see all the great work that you are doing. So now, without further ado, guys, Miss Whitney, come on up here, okay. girl. Miss <laughs> Whitney going to come up here, and she is going to perform Hey Black Girl for you, okay? So sit back and enjoy this beautiful performance. All right. Hey, Black Girl. No matter who you are, whether big or small, you are more than enough and can have it all. The world may say, you too this or you too that. Put those cakes away. You're too big to have a snack. Give it to her. She needs meat on her bones. Put some clothes on, girl. Your body is too grown. Add some heat to your hair. It's way too kinky. Make it long and straight, and then you'll be pretty. Shh. Be quiet. You're way too loud. Stay in the box we put you in and don't make a sound. Hey, black girl, want to change that chocolate skin? Ready to change everything on the outside so you forget who you are within? Forget those dreams of becoming something because the way the world is set up, your life means nothing. Hey, black girl, did I say too much? I thought you were built to steal a superwoman and can't be touched. Hey, world, shush. Shh. I am more than enough. My body is fine the way that it is, whether I'm big, skinny, or thick. I don't look to you to be beautiful because my confidence is a bliss. I love every kink, coil, and curl in my hair. I wear it like a crown because my style is rare. I will never be quiet because what I say matters. I will be seen and heard, nonetheless, or the latter. Hey world, my skin is so rich it makes me feel wealthy. I would never change a thing about myself. I was born to be the best me. My dreams are on the pavement, a black girl in motion. My life matters no matter your emotions. Hey black girls, no matter who you are, whether big or small, you are more than enough and can absolutely have it all.
Thank you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that was so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for blessing me. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been The Little Green Dress Presents Traditions and Legacies. My friend Whitney Barkley is here. Please go to YouTube, and here is her book, Hey, Black Girl, <laughs> and you make sure that you can go get that as well. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, girl. <laughs> that was it. That was Thank you. it. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. I